Hey, Pretty Girl Club. Welcome back to the Decentering Men series. In this part of the Decentering Men series, we are going to have ex-workers spilling the tea about their experiences with men because I just feel like a lot of content on YouTube, it's very male-centered and I feel like sometimes women almost deify men and put them on such a high pedestal to the point where women are making bad decisions. And so a part of my decentering men series, it's actually not about hating men. It's about just taking them off of the pedestal and understanding what you're getting into. So I don't care if your man is black or white, or if you like Asian guys, I don't care about any of that. What I care about is women of color, not looking to a man to save them emotionally and not putting all of their self-esteem and their self-worth in having a relationship. So that's why we're doing the entire Decentering Men series and the ex-workers are spilling the tea. So if you have any tea you want to spill and you are a part of the Pretty Girl Club, please email me at exoticalsunited at gmail.com. But this girl says, I'm a brown-skinned exotical and I appreciate your channel. I have been an ex-worker before. Phone ex and I have paid and I have been paid for actual ex only twice. Doing X work taught me a lot about men. They love fantasy. They know it's a lie, but they love it. A lot of women don't want to hear the truth about men, but an X worker can give you good advice because we understand men in the true essence of who they are. Usually men are putting on a mask with their wife slash girlfriends. They are their true selves with X workers. To put it bluntly, a lot of men ain't shit. I've had men with weird kinks. I had a man who just wanted to listen to me crunch ice with my mouth closed. Some want to talk about how they could get me pregnant and watch me have their babies. Oh my God, I, I knew that that was a fetish. How many of you guys in the comment section have had men who will specifically go out of their way to try to get you pregnant or they talk about getting you pregnant or they will specifically target you? Um, so I have a psychological theory. I'm not a real psychologist, but I do have a theory that the reason that a lot of preferences or pretty girls become baby mamas is because I believe men have a kink for getting women pregnant, or they specifically go after the preferences, or they specifically go after the best woman they can find so they can lock her down, or so they can slow her down, or so they can have her as the mother of his children. And because it makes him feel like he kind of like conquered something, because I know that I've been told that so many times, like, oh, I want to impregnate you. And so it's almost like this domination power thing where the man feels like, oh, yeah, she's got my seed. She's carrying my baby inside of her. No other man has been able to impregnate her. And I have. It's almost as if some men view it as a flex being able to impregnate you. This is why a lot of preferences are targeted by men who want to get them pregnant. But anyway, let's continue. She said... Some have said they would literally lock me in a room and keep me for an ex-slave if they could meet me. Some want me to abuse myself and smack myself and tell them, thank you, sir. I don't really smack myself. Again, it's all a fantasy. Some are bisexual but will only express it in phone sex. Some want me to call them bad boys, filth, sissies, and they deserve to be abused. They can really jerk off to that. Trigger warning, the worst are the pedophiles. Once I realized the call was headed in that way, I did not take those calls. They want me to pretend to be a child, or they want to relive the times that they, in real life, abuse children. They taught me the words to look out for. If I hear it, even in real life, I think they may be a pedophile. Caution words. So she's telling you these are signs that a guy may be a pedophile. If he, if he uses words like princess, little vagina, little pussy, daddy, daddy wants to play. You're so young. Yeah. I've never been into the whole daddy thing. Like people calling you daddy, that always sounds weird. And maybe it's because I do have a relationship with my father. My mom and dad are still married. So like, why would I call a guy daddy? I always thought that was weird. Um, but she says some men are legit lonely and just wanted a friendly conversation who they fantasize as a pretty woman. These men will call in the car on the way to work on the way home while working as a truck driver. What did I tell you guys about truck drivers? They're notorious for soliciting ex-workers. Anyway, she says, um, on the way to the grocery store, 
when their wife is grocery shopping, while their wife is visiting their sick mom in the hospital, anytime they can. And yes, they can ejaculate while still driving. They are young, old, and all races. They are married, single, engaged, have girlfriends, and have children. The men I had real ex with pretended to date me until the third or fourth date. Then they were upset when there was no ex. They offered to pay for sex. I took it. I asked one why not pay an actual prostitute rather than act like he really wanted to date me. He basically said, I'm better than that. But here he was paying me. I got out of the sex game because it takes a lot out of you. Anyway, what do you ladies think? Do you think that these ex-workers are on to something? Do you think that they see a side of men that a lot of regular women don't get to see? Let me know what you think in the comment section and I'll talk to you next time. Stay pretty, ladies.